Herd of the Rose District in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Now, it is undeniably one of the hottest spots, if not the hottest spot in Broken Arrow. And the Rose District is a rezoned portion of downtown, now a thriving arts and entertainment district. It's very walkable and there's so many great shops and restaurants uh, and so many fun things to do throughout the year. And I cannot wait to show you. So stay and watch until the end to check it out. And today we're going to do what we always do. We're going to look at three different, actually we're going to look at four different houses in four different price ranges, all in close proximity to the Rose District. So you can see how far your dollar will stretch in Oklahoma, in the Tulsa, Oklahoma area. And if this is your first time to our channel, and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Tulsa, Oklahoma, or the surrounding suburbs, um, then tap that little bell notification and subscribe. That way you'll be the first to know what's going on in our local Tulsa area market. I'm Sabrina Shaw with the XP Realty and my team and I get calls every single day from people just like you who need help making that move to Tulsa, Oklahoma. And let me tell you, we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, jump on a Zoom call with us, send us an email, and we would love to help you make that seamless move to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay, it is February 28th in Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma area. We're actually uh, at the Rose District in Broken Arrow, and it's about one o'clock, it's about lunchtime um, on a Tuesday, and it is so beautiful. It's about 74 degrees and the, you know, we got the breeze. It's just an absolute beautiful day. And so when we get these in Oklahoma in the winter, it is definitely something to celebrate. And that's just something, you know, that you'll probably see through my videos, but I want to make sure and mention more is the temperature, you know, what the weather's like, you know, you know, in each month. And it does, it fluctuates a lot. You know, we always say, and I think they say this in a lot of other states too, but um, if you don't like the weather in Oklahoma, stay a while, it will change. And it does. So this is our second day of beautiful weather. It was super, super cold. You know, a few days ago, it'll be cold again. I think tomorrow it's supposed to rain. But, you know, we do experience all seasons. And when we get these, you know, glorious days, when we get these glorious days, you know, we want to be outside and it's beautiful. And the Rose District is a great place to do that. Very walkable. You know, people are riding their bikes, jogging, walking. Enjoy the tour. electrical plumbing so lots of lots of new stuff there quiet neighborhood 
older houses in this neighborhood, but you've got plenty, you know, that had been remodeled, you know, which we're seeing here in the Rose District. All right, let's check out the neighborhood. It is um, a bit further out, but it is still close to the Rose District. Now, could you walk there? You could, but it would be, you know, all the other, you know, the other houses that you're gonna see today and that you have seen, you know, definitely an easy walk, um, you know, to get to Main Street. This one's a, a little bit further out. Um, it was about a six minute drive from our first house, which, you know, which was really close. Okay, so this is a three bedroom, two bath house, built in 2004, priced at $350,000 with 2,381 square feet, putting that price per square foot at $146. Now this house is in Kenwood, which is, you know, an established neighborhood. Um, really not a lot of houses come up um, in this neighborhood at all. There's a great wraparound porch, we're on a corner lot. Um, you've got an open floor plan, new windows, a uh, new roof, new heat, um, and AC upgrades in 2018. Uh, you've got a new privacy fence. This is going to be your biggest lot at 0.29 acres, so, you know, almost a third of an acre. And the grade school is Rhodes Elementary, uh, which all the houses that we're seeing today are in Rhodes Elementary. You know, the neighborhood's quiet. You have, um, you have wide streets. We don't have sidewalks, um, but you know, quiet, established neighborhood. So let's take a look around. It's priced at $504,900 with 2,326 square feet, putting that price per square foot at $217. Uh, you've got hardwood floors, quartz countertops, custom cabinets and finishes, um, not much backyard. Uh, you're less than a tenth of an acre, but you know, you're in a super walkable area. So, you know, if you have pets, there's, you know, there's grass here, you can, you can take them out. Um, but you know, just go and uh, go out to Main Street and walk it out. But, but I want to show you this little addition. So I'm going to turn my camera around 
and just walk through these four houses so you can see. going through the neighborhoods you can see that there are a lot of houses you know there's a lot of older homes and so you know the Rose District is kind of like uh, Midtown Tulsa you know most of the homes are going to be older we uh, we do see new construction in the Rose District and that's either you know um, building on empty lots that haven't been built on or you know um, investors buying you know houses that are really really old tearing them down and uh, building a new house so say so you've got a lot of mixed housing you know here in the Rose District Okay, but the last house on the tour, um, it is, again, we're right in the heart of the Rose District, um, and it's still under construction. There you go, you can see that. It is going to be a three bedroom, a three full, one half bath house, between 3,000 and 3,250 square feet, which puts that price per square foot between $184 and $200 per square foot. Um, again, you've got a smaller lot. This one is a bit over a tenth of an acre. Uh, the house is going to have hardwood floors, quartz countertops, a large island. Uh, you're going to have a primary suite on the first floor and two bedrooms, two baths, and a game room upstairs. And, you know, as we drive around, I'm going to show you there's some luxury uh, townhomes being built. Um, there are some apartments, you know, for rent. So, so there is all types of housing. So let's check out the neighborhood and then we will um, go back to Main Street. and it's the fourth largest city in the state of Oklahoma itself. Um, but again, here we are back at the Rose District and there is so much fun to be had. Um, you know, if you wanna be active, they have the Be Love Yoga Studio, uh, which has 75 minute sessions. You've got the Hub Gym that's open 24 seven. Plenty of salon options if you want to pamper yourself. You can enjoy a performance at the Performing Arts Center. You can visit the Military History Museum or at the Museum BA, which is run by the Broken Arrow Historical Society, you know, or you can hang out and read at the library. There's this really cool, I'm going to see if I can, it's behind me. It's the second lunch shop across the street, but it's this really cool uh, do-it-yourself plant bar. So you can make succulent arrangements or plant arrangements, you know, all while drinking wine, which is really great. And if you want to, you know, along those lines, you've got Pinot's Palette, which is paint and sip, which is super fun too. Both, you know, are great fun experiences. And, you know, as far as events, you know, there's plenty. You're gonna have the farmer's market. You've got, at the end of April, you've got Dog Fest. And so they have, um, you know, all kinds of vendors for your pets. They have games, food trucks. In May, you've got Rooster Days, which is just a huge deal in Broken Arrow. Live music, again, food trucks, carnival rides, all kinds of fun stuff. You know, there are great restaurants here. You've got Andalini's Pizza, uh, Andalini's Pizzeria, which I actually just ate there for lunch, and it's so good. Uh, you know, during the lunchtime, they have where you can get endless, you know, slices and salad. I love their DeMarco, but everything's good. I always try, so I always get two slices of pizza, and they're huge but I don't eat the crust in a salad, but I always get their pizza of the day, most of the time. 
and then I have to get the DeMarco. It's my favorite. So um, there's a new gelato shop. You've got in the raw on the rooftop, Main Street Tavern, uh, Toast, just so many, so many good restaurant options. Hey, I'm telling you the fun here is endless. So put the Rose District on your list. And really like if you're moving to Broken Arrow, you've got really affordable housing, you know, compared to some other suburbs in the Tulsa, Oklahoma area. So the housing is more affordable in some parts of Broken Arrow. Of course, they've got their expensive housing too. As we, you know, as you saw with the Rose District, the housing here is higher priced per square foot. But that's because we're just in close proximity to this area. You know, Broken Arrow has everything that you need at all. Um, there's Targets, there's grocery stores, Starbucks, any kind of chain restaurants, tons of local stuff. But you know, if you want the chains, they've got everything here. There would really be no reason to even go into Tulsa at all. Of course, I wouldn't suggest that. Tulsa's amazing. You, you know, if you're gonna live in Oklahoma, if you're gonna live in Broken Arrow, like you've gotta explore Tulsa. So many fun things 